Okay, I'm particularly excited today because I'm in Dallas, Texas at John T. Saw Steakhouse called Knife in the Highland Hotel. I am here to try five different steaks aged for different periods of time. Come on in. Dry aging for all its great benefits also has its limits. It's a process and that process will have peaks and valleys in terms of sourness and sweetness and different flavor notes. More is not necessarily better. So I think what we're really looking for here is where is the tipping point where a steak becomes so funky that you couldn't eat the whole thing. So tell me, what does John have planned for me? Uh, you're gonna get a few steaks that are hard to get. We got a 45 day ribeye, 90 day, 180 day, a 240 and a 420. Get 420, that's purely experimental. All right. See how far we can go with it. So hopefully I'll survive this. Like if you go to your average dry aging steakhouse, 28 days is what most people do, correct? Exactly. Do you even offer a 28 day dry aged steak? Nope. So you just start right off at 45? We try to. And then you're dry aging everything in house? It's all natural mold. We didn't bring anything from the outside. It's all self-cultured. What do we have planned? We're gonna break down all five of them. We're gonna lay them out, let you see the mold progression and the age throughout. Tell me about cooking them. Do they cook differently? The older they get, the longer they take, and the more you have to baby them because they will flame up and char really quickly. And you cook them uh, broilers? Yes, we cook all of our dried steak on a broiler. So really classic steakhouse vernacular cooking, but pushed to an extreme that nobody has really done Push before. Push the boundaries a little bit. Right. Go back to classic cooking. Excellent. All right, I look forward to it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. And here is the moment of truth. Look before me. This is as many steaks as I usually eat in a week, and here they are all at once. So let's go into the 45 day, which already is substantially more than the standard 28 day that most steaks have traditionally been dry aged for. So I'm getting, you know, it's, it's dry aged. You can tell immediately there is those, those notes apparent right off the bat. Overly funky. It's definitely a little more flavorful than a 28 day dry age, but not substantially so. Let's move on. Okay, so the 90. I have a feeling this may be my favorite one. And you can already feel that it's really, it's much stiffer and drier. Mmm. But this is substantially more flavorful. This one is somehow unlocked a different level of beef flavor. It's just more concentrated, it's really spectacular. This is the 180 day and texturally you can feel a, an immediate difference from the prior two steaks. That tastes like Stilton cheese. I mean, it, it's that sharp. Well, there's a certain sweetness to these other two. There's nothing here that's sweet. So let's move on. We are gonna go to the 240 day dry steak. This one is actually on the menu at Knife. Um, it's a, you know, I suppose it's really one of their special items because look at this. It just has no movement at all. Now if you look at the 45 day, which is cooked rare also, it's really, you can see there's a lot of give and jiggle there. The inside is supremely funky. Really, very, sort of really deep flavors of dry age. The outside less so. I don't know if that's to do with water extraction or what's happened, we've pushed all of the flavor out. Mm. The flavors that I found objectionable in the 180 day steak then mellowed. So it, it reached a crescendo of sort of sourness and then that leveled off. And it's leaving this very dry, a very cured sort of salty, briny flavor. Definitely like this more than the 180 day, but it doesn't really taste like beef though. It's much more like charcuterie. Although I think I could probably eat the whole thing. I am now gonna go 20 days beyond where I have gone before. Um, this looks like a fossil. It is so, it's just gnarled and desiccated. Wish me luck. It's not a pleasant experience. It's too salty. It would be excellent as flavoring for a component in the dish, but yeah, it's a step too far. Maybe uh, several hundred days too far, as the case may be. Well, that was illuminating and mostly delicious. The 240 was my personal favorite. You know, for a once in a lifetime or once in a, once in a year thing, I think that's actually the way to go. The 240 day steak at knife is simply sensational. 
But I also ate a 400-day dried Wagyu steak from Japan. To find out about that, click here now. I'm here to eat the most extraordinary steak on earth. I'm here at Mu Ramen in Long Island City. The chef is Joshua Smugler. He is a fine dining chef who has worked at like Per Se and Boulay and some of the most amazing kitchens. 